Hello, this is Graham Roberts. This is number two in a series of videos on local storage methods. And uh, you've missed the first one, which was the introduction. So this is LS2. OK, so for LS2, we're going to look at the individual functions or methods in one, one after the other, really. So let's see what we can do. We can click uh, to test local storage in the browser. And that shows it does support local storage. And this was function A, which I did explain in the first video. So we're on to B, which is 4x in local storage. And that shows us what's in the local storage at the moment. And the way it does that is that we create two variables, text and x. We loop round x. Um, if it's in the local storage, it's appended or concatenated to the text string and uh, then output as we see here. So we're actually using the uh, local storage as an array there. Um, OK, so I think that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? So let's bring in the development area. I've pressed F12 and we're getting the development area shown to us. The development area is here. And uh, we need to go to the application, which you can't see me doing, unfortunately. But I've gone to the application here. And uh, we can see that there's only one um, local stored item at the moment called Solar System. Let's see if we can just get that up a little bit. So we can see more of that. So just bear with me. OK, you should be able to see now I went to application, I went to local storage. And if I pull down here, we're looking at B. Um, you can't see that it's output now, <laughs> that, but it has. And what it's doing is carrying out the function we just looked at there. So now let's look at function C. Now C takes um, the item or makes the item first planet and gives it a value of mercury. And we can actually get that back again and put it into the inner HTML as I showed you in the first video for display by looking at key zero. And we can see it's popped up here because we uh, created the item using a set item, which is this one. OK, let's do D. Now, D has already been created, um, which was the solar system. Now, this is quite long, but basically this is a JavaScript object called solar system. It's an array of planets. And the planets have basically a name and a relative distance from the sun. As you can see, Mercury is only 0.4 of the distance from the sun that the Earth is, the Earth being 93 million miles from the sun. But Mercury is a lot closer. As you can see, it's um, 0.4 relative to the Earth. And what we can see going on here is that the JSON stringify method takes solar system and the object in JavaScript and it puts it into the um, local storage. Now to get that back out, we can use the um, parse method of um, JSON, but what we're doing here is showing in the output by creating a string what is in 
the um, the value for solar system there. Now we're at E, get item. So when we say get item, what are we doing? We're actually getting a random number that's between zero and eight. And we're actually parsing the solar system object. Um, sorry, the local storage object solar system. And we're putting it into a solar system object. So what we're actually creating is um, that construct. If it wasn't in another browser in, in running, then it would still be in the local storage so we could actually get it into our um, browser without actually typing anything in. So that actually displays the solar system object um, element R and the other field R. And we see what we saw. Now, um, if we click on F, we remove an item. Notice we're going to remove first planet. So if you keep your eye on the right hand side, when I click F, we should see first planet be removed. That makes me very powerful removing a planet from a solar system. Or rather, it's not from solar system, strictly speaking, is it? It's from a different storage item. Right, so uh, if we clear, well, we clear everything. It's all gone now. And in H, we have um, the um, the key index being run again, just so we can see it being used. We, we saw it being used earlier as a means to an end, and this is it in generic form, as it were. Oh, that's all of those. Oh, that's, so let's run it all again. So let's uh, do a refresh. And when we refresh everything, eventually we will pick up this. Don't need this part, so get rid of that. And we can see we have no local storage. So what we do is we set an item, see, we set an item D, and hopefully you can see just how quick this is in actual practice. And then we can get an item and we can remove an item and we can remove them all. If we put them um, back, the solar system back, and then ask for, a member of the solar system we get um, this particular output here which um, the first key is solar system if we wanted to see not the first key but the third key we just put a three in there in that particular um, script you took me back to HTML Okay, so there I think we have it. Um, just uh, run through that one more time, I think. This has been quicker than I thought. I thought we'd have to do uh, spend a lot more time on it. Um, okay, so if we um, look through it again, this time we look at the form running, that is the table. We run it again. Oh, by the way, notice I can delete the solar system <laughs> like a god. I can delete the solar system and first planet here myself manually. I just run that again and um, test for local storage. Well, it will output that that's all right. We can do that. We can look at everything that's in there. Well, there isn't anything that's actually stored. We can set a simple item, first planet. We can set a complex item, a construct here. And if we click down here, 
we can see everything that's there in this development area which I got from F12 and remember when you're trying to do this you're looking in application and whatever yours is called probably called the same thing as mine if you're doing it <laughs> replit or it won't be called the same thing as mine of course unless you're using this particular one but whatever yours is called that's where you look for whatever your um, particular uh, file name is what, what the browser uh, window is remember in JavaScript we prefix everything with window dot okay so get item just simply gets the the item in this particular case I think it's the first one which is zero but if we were to remove the first item and we get the first item it actually will be a solar system that we actually get see solar system there if we were to delete solar system oh, in fact just uh, delete solar system and put in first planet then solar system and then retrieve at zero we actually uh, this reminds me <laughs> that uh, just to be difficult the first key is not always the key you expect it to be. Uh, that's why you really need to sort local storage before you can make any predictions about what order the keys are in because it maintains um, its own idea of what order they're in um, rather than what it looks like in its display. So that's why when we ask for um, H, the first one it says it's solar system even though we can see it isn't solar system if i delete solar system and do h we can see it's first planet uh, then if i put in solar system this would be interesting actually what will happen when i put in solar system when i set it well it's clearly second let's see if it is uh, it's now first so you can see that you can't really you have to sort there is actually a sort um, method that you can apply anyway i hope you've enjoyed this excursion into the world of local storage and the methods associated with local storage which are really set item get item remove item clear and key so there are five that you can uh, readily use and they're quite simple to use, particularly if you remember that you can use JSON to stringify an object and to pass it back again. So you don't have to, for instance, with these um, planets, let's say there were um, eight planets, you don't have to put in planet one, planet two, planet three, you can actually put them in as an array. You can have attributes for each of them, uh, the planets. You could have their distance from the sun, the orbit number of days, and so on. Temperature of the surface and so on in there. And so you could actually uh, store in one location eight planets. You could do that with um, hundreds of items. There is a limit though to storage. I think it's um, 10 megabytes, but that's for session storage, which is temporary as well as this storage. Anyway, this is Graham Roberts saying, I hope you uh, found that useful. Uh, bye.